Crypto Activator here and welcome back to another video. In this video, quick update in regards to the nine inch yield farms. If you haven't noticed already, the yield farms are live. They're ready for you. You can deposit and start earning some yield. So I'm gonna cover that here in this video. Let's get started. Okay guys, here we are on the nine inch decks. Today is an exciting day. The farms just launched, the yield farms just launched here on nine inch decks. We've got a few of them. We've got a few days of rollouts of several things that are happening with the nine inch decks. Today, a few of the farms were launched and we get to participate in some of these pools. The single-sided staking pools, they're still yet to come. I believe it's later today or tomorrow, something like that, that they will launch. So, hey, if you wanna know when they're launched right away, make sure that you stay tuned. Make sure that you're watching this, this Dex. Make sure that you're in the Telegram. Hey, you can also join my community. I'll let you know when they're launched before I even do a video, all right? So make sure that you are following what's happening with the nine inch Dex. Now, we all know none of this is financial advice. I'm just sharing with you some of the strategies that I'm using to create passive income, generate yield here in DeFi, all right? You need to come up with your own decisions when it, when it comes to DeFi and crypto and getting involved with any of these yield farms, all right? So I'm gonna show you these yield farms. I'm gonna show you how to get involved with them, how to deposit and how to start earning yield in these farms because hey, the yield's pretty high. We got some high APRs happening right now here in the nine inch decks and this is some great stuff. Now, hey, when these yield farms launch, when they first come out, the APR, it is extremely high, all right? Now, don't to be scared off about that if you don't understand how APR works, how yield farms work, how, how the liquidity pools work. Let me break it down for you in just a, a simple term, a simple way so that you could basically understand it. When a pool first opens, think of it like, uh, you'll think of it like a pie, right? You got a pie and if you wanna sit down at the table and you wanna eat a pie, and if it's just you eating the pie, well guess what? You get the whole pie, right? Well, what if now another another person sits down at the table and wants to share that pie with you? Well, you get half the pie, he gets half the pie, right? Well, now another a few other people sit down and there's four of you and four of you wanna eat that pie. Well, do you get the whole pie? No, do you get half the pie? No, you get what? A quarter of the pie. Four people are sharing that pie. Now, all of a sudden, well, you've got 10 people, 16 people, 24 people, 36 people are sitting down at the pie and your, your slice of that pie gets smaller and smaller as the day goes on, as the weeks goes on. That's the same way with the yield farm, all right? And the liquidity pools. When they first open, if you're one of the first people to jump in the pool, guess what? The pool's all yours, right? Well, as soon as people start rushing in the pool, your share of the pool gets smaller and smaller and smaller. But guess what? When they start up with such a huge high APR, that's all right. The yields do drop. The APRs do drop quite fast, right? But they're still quite high compared to a lot of other stuff, right? And especially this pools here right now, they're still very, very good. And I'm gonna show you what they look like right now. So let's hop on over to the yield farms. And that's over up at the top left-hand corner. You see where it says earn? Well, we'll go over where it says earn and we'll click on where it says farms. Okay, so over here on the farms, check this out. Look at the yields. Look at the APRs that we got right here on nine inch right now. They first started off today, of course, with the nine inch and the stable coins along with PLS. Okay, so you got nine inch and PLS right here. And I know the APR says zero, but the reality is, is it's not zero, okay? I don't know why, but there's, I believe there's a glitch, a bug or whatever, whatever it is, okay? In the UI that it's just not showing this information. But however, it is producing a yield. Just so, just know that, all right? Over here, you've got the stable coins. You've got nine inch and die, nine inch USDC, nine inch USDT. Look, over 12,000% right now for the APR. Does it stay that way? No, like I said, with the yield farms, just like the pools, it's going to get smaller. It's going to decrease as time goes on. It could be 6,000 tomorrow. It could be 1,000, 2,000 tomorrow, right? which is still very high, okay? So it could be a few, in a few hundred, 
right? Within the next day or two, who knows, right? I don't know how fast it's gonna drop, but the sooner that you get into one of these pools, the sooner you start making a higher APR before it really drops down. But either way, it is still a good opportunity for earning some very nice yield here in these farms, all right? So this is how we do it. This is how we get into earning yield in these yield farms. Number one, we're gonna decide which one we're gonna to wanna to get into. Let's say you go, well, you know what? I wanna get into this stable coin with, uh, with nine inch and die, okay? Well, you say, well, I wanna get into this one. Make sure that I have enough die. Make sure that I have enough nine inch. And how I do that is I just make sure that I go over to the, to the exchange over here on the top left. You see where it says exchange? Well, click on exchange. So now that we're over here, we're just gonna make sure that we can swap enough for whatever one we have. Let's so if we, of course, we're gonna make sure that we have nine inch and then we're gonna make sure that we have the die. So whatever we gotta swap out of to or swap to and, and such, make sure that we have enough of each of these tokens. So if you wanna do, you know, a million of each or a million die, right? But I mean, an equal amount of uh, maybe you got a hundred bucks in each, you know, that means you're going to put like 200 bucks into the farm, for example. Okay. So a hundred dollars got to go into each of them is what you got to have a hundred dollars worth of each. Just make sure you know that. And then you're going to go back over to the farm. So you go over where it says earn, go back down to farms. And then again, back over here on the farms, we're going to make sure that we first connect our wallet. So you just connect your wallet, then of course you're going to enable the contract. Then once you've enabled the contract, you'll see down here where it says details, just click on details. And then you got a selection right underneath of here. This shows you how much liquidity is actually in this contract here right now, for, or in this, in, these, in this contract for this pools right here. Well, right where it says get nine inch die LP, this is what you're gonna do is you're gonna go and get the LP because what we're gonna do is we're going to stake the LP. But before we can stake the LP, we need to get the LP. So how do you get the LP? Well, watch me here. First click on get nine inch die LP and it will take you over to the liquidity pools, which is right up here where it says up here, you see liquidity. Well, this is just a shortcut to go there and have everything populated already for you. So click on here. Okay, so over here, this is pretty cool. What you need to do is make sure that you have an equal amount of each. That's why I said, make sure that you have enough tokens of each that's equal amount. And you don't have to necessarily make sure that you enter the equal amount in each part here because it's going to automatically do so. So let's take, for example, you've got, uh, we'll go a hundred bucks, right? To make sure it's like a $200 in the pool. So you got a hundred bucks here. It automatically tells you that that's 200 or 2.2 million of these nine inch tokens. Okay. So it equals a hundred dollars in each hundred here and hundred here plus plus. Okay. And then that will then drop down. And when you click, submit I got no tokens of each so I can't not really doing that but I'm just showing you so now down below here this is this is one way that you're earning in here okay is this see by adding the liquidity you will earn 0.22 percent of all trades on the pair okay that's earning your fees back over on the farm I'll show you again if you didn't notice that but you're earning the farm yield as well as or that includes both the, the rewards from the farm as well as earning from the fees, okay? So here I'll show you, we go back over. So once you add this, you click on the button right here, it says provide liquidity. It's then going to give you an LP token that will be in your wallet, okay? Whether you add it to, con they add it to your wallet or not, just know that it's there. And then you take that LP and go back to the farms so then we're back here. So this is what I was talking about. It says right here, you're going to earn BBC plus fees, which equals this APR. So this APR is made up of BBC plus fees. So the BBC token you're gonna earn plus your fees, okay? So when you remove your liquidity, you're getting those fees added in there. That's pretty cool. Just know that, all right? So what you're gonna do now that you have your LP is you're then going to click on where it says stake LP, okay? And that will stake it. And once it's staked, you're gonna start earning. Now, if you don't wanna earn this yield anymore, you want out of here, say, yeah, I don't really like this. I don't like earning this money. I don't like receiving this yield anymore. I think it's kind of boring. Like, ah, I wanna go somewhere, do something else, whatever, whatever the case is, right? Well, then you just click on remove 
okay withdraw your LP from this farm and just like that you're good to go and then you go back over to the liquidity page or the, to the liquidity over here and then you remove your liquidity from the pools is what you're doing you're then taking your LP and giving it back and taking your your die and your nine inch tokens back and you got them just like that okay you can do that whenever you want you're not locked anytime you want as well, what you can do anytime you want is click on harvest. You can do this once a day, twice a day, three times a day, once a week, twice a week. It's up to you. Whenever you want to collect your rewards, you just come and you harvest from your farm. That's pretty cool, right? You can start earning this yield. You can start collecting your yield any time of day that you want, right? And you can cash it out, do whatever you want, collect your BBC tokens, see if they're going to go up in value or take your BBC tokens and cash them back out to stable coins pls whatever it is that you want to stack and want to put in your hodl bag right so that's pretty cool now what's the whole objective again remember my objective when it comes to earning yield is i want to build my hodl bags right i want to build my bags for the bull run with pls whatever other token it is that i'm bullish on so i'm earning a yield and taking that yield and i'm just stacking my bags man that's all i'm doing right so hey happy yield farming to you so again, if you found this helpful, if you found any value at all in this content, you know what to do. Smash that like button, drop me a comment down below. If you have not yet already subscribed, you know what to do. Click subscribe, click the bell so you're notified when new videos are released. And in fact, I've got another video right about here that I believe YouTube's even recommending here for you. Head on over there, check it out. I'll see you there. And in the meantime, you have a great day. Bye for now.